Hey guys, so in this video we're going to look at how to add a button using just CSS. We're not going to build this in Photoshop, we're not going to use an image file, it's going to be just through CSS. And so this is a way that you can keep your page very light, very fast loading, and still have it look a little bit more impressive, have it use some of those, those aesthetic qualities that you like. We're just going to go ahead and open up brackets. This is just the getting started welcome page, so I'm going to go ahead and just do a file new. So we're going to start with just the HTML file. And as you would expect, we're going to save it as just an index.html. Helps if you save in the right location. Make sure you know where you're saving. So we're not going to do anything really fancy here, not yet anyways. We're going to go ahead and make the doc type declaration. Start with an HTML tag, of course. Our head tag. We'll add a title tag in here. And that's going to be it for right now. Now we're going to go ahead and add the body tag in. I'm not going to use any attributes in the body tag because we're just playing with CSS. So I'm just going to start a new paragraph and just put in a little bit of text. Oh, let me make this a little bit larger for you so you can actually see what I'm doing easily. That might be nice. Okay, that will work. We'll go ahead and do a few line breaks. We'll add a div tag. And in this div tag, we're going to put, we'll continue our taco theme from other videos. So, best tacos anywhere. That's quite a declaration. And I'm actually going to go ahead and put the word tacos inside of a span tag. Because I want it to be a little bit different. This will all make sense as we go through it. So for now, just follow along. So we've got our body tag. That's been ended. I'm going to go ahead and space those out so it's a little bit easier for me to see what's going on. And everything looks pretty good. Looks good to me. I think we have everything that we need for right now. So we're going to go ahead and create a new file. And this is going to be our style sheet. So we'll save this as on our desktop style sheet dot CSS. Now I'm not going to put a whole lot of script in here because I'm only animating a few things. So I've got a P tag to describe, a div tag to describe, and a span tag to describe. And that's really it. So not a big deal here. So we'll start with the P tag since that's the first one I have. And let's do text align Center, thank you brackets, and we'll do, oops, forgot the semicolon. Notice how, sort of as a clue, it indented for me because it wasn't quite finished. So that's kind of an indicator that you didn't quite finish the previous one, you didn't quite close it out. And we'll do font family Helvetica. and sans serif because I prefer sans serif fonts and we'll do font size equals and we're going to do something pretty large so that way you can see this pretty easily so maybe 28 that sounds good to me 28 pixels 
and we'll actually close out the p tag there. Now let's do the div tag. We'll go ahead and give it a border. Let's make it, once again, let's keep it pretty large so that way you can actually see what I'm doing. So maybe five pixels, maybe seven pixels. And I want it to be dashed. And I don't know what color code I want. So we'll start with that. And we'll use our quick selector, which we can right click or do command E and choose a color. I'm thinking maybe maybe a nice deep orange, kind of around there. I think that looks good. Normally, when you see a button, you think like a circle or like a rounded rectangle, but oftentimes when you're creating divs, you have these very harsh rectangles or, or squares, and that's not really what we're looking for. So we're also going to do a border radius and let's do maybe 20 px we'll see how that looks and we want an inside color for the div tag too so we're going to do background color uh, I don't know what color I want so once again let's put down a few so I can choose I'm thinking maybe kind of a mid-tone, somewhat desaturated blue. And I want this button to be a certain size. So height 100 px and width I'm thinking 300 px. So this is a fairly big button. Yours obviously does not have to be this large, but I just want it to be very visible. We'll do margins auto, and we will also do text align center. And I want the font family to be, hmm, what's a good font? I already have a sans serif, so normally you, if you use one sans serif, you don't want to use another. I'm actually just going to choose serif and let's see what happens. It'll probably use like times or something, but we'll, we'll just go ahead and see. And if I don't like it, then I can find one later. Now, letting it decide is a little bit risky because it might look different on different people's browsers. So I wouldn't generally recommend that, but we're just, we're just going to see what happens. So next, I want to also do a span because I have a span in here. So taco is a sort of my keyword. So let's give that, I don't know, something. Let's make it a little bit more than it is right now. We'll do a font weight and let's do like 900, like the max, super, super thick. And we'll do font size. I want it just a little bit bigger than before, so maybe 34, I think, that will be noticeably bigger, but not like too big. And we're going to do color. I didn't do color in the other one, did I? We're going to do color as bright yellow. There we go. I did not do color here. Let's also have color here. Let's make color be, I think, just white for this one. And I think that will do it. So we're going to go back to our index file. We already have the div tag set up, the span tag set up, and the p tag set up. Let's make sure we save the style sheet as well. And let's see what happens. So we'll go ahead and just open this with Firefox. So we can see right now that it is not very impressive, but 
in the heading tag, we did not yet link in the CSS document. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll add in link and type, which is text slash CSS. Style sheet. And of course, the location of the style sheet, which for us is stylesheet.css, because we didn't call it anything complicated. Okay, so now if we save it, and if we refresh, not too bad. It has some issues, it has some things I don't quite like. I don't quite like how the dash lines go around the, the rounded radius. And I don't really like the sizing of the text. So let's go in and play with a few of these pieces and see if we like it better. So maybe 28 is not large enough. Actually, 28 is large. 28 is up here. That's actually a little bit bigger than I wanted. Maybe 15. But I definitely don't like the font size here. So let's go ahead and make that a bit bigger. Hmm, 15 is a little smaller than I wanted. Maybe, maybe 18. And that didn't work because I forgot to put the PX on there. That's better. And tacos is clearly not large enough. So this needs to be maybe like 40. Ooh, 40. That's pretty good. And instead of dashed, let's do solid. OK. And I think maybe a bigger rounding radius. Maybe instead 35. That's a bit better. Now I think the height is maybe a little too small. Maybe 120. That's a bit better. And let's go back to our index file. And I'm going to add two line breaks there. Not quite big enough. Hmm. But it's looking more the way that I want. I'm actually going to up this to 32. So I don't like the spaces between the lines, so I'm going to adjust that too. So we're going to do line height. And let's try maybe. 80% and I think I also need that on the span we'll go ahead and save that with command s and let's refresh oh I forgot to add in the semicolon there we go and we'll hit refresh pretty good But where is the word anywhere? Hmm. Got to pay attention to what you're doing, otherwise you might accidentally remove something. So that's looking much closer to what I want. We'll go ahead and add just a few more customizations in there. Save this, we'll refresh that. And that looks pretty good. I want to just adjust the height a little bit, maybe 140, and maybe this down to 260. We'll save that. That's not too bad. Now, I don't know about you, 
But when I think button, I think that it should, I don't know, do something when you put your mouse over it. So that means we want a hover effect. So let's go into our CSS again. Now that I'm at least fairly pleased with this, well, I think so. Let's make it just a little bit bigger. We'll do 35, and we'll do this as 43. So what I want is I want this to change a little bit when the mouse moves over it. So a mouse over, which we call a hover in CSS. So to do that, I'm going to do div, and I'm going to do hover. Open curly brace, and we're going to treat it just like we would any other piece. Now, I'm not going to recreate everything. I'm actually just going to go ahead and copy and paste this code here. And I'll go ahead and close. And I'm going to delete the parts I don't want to change. I don't want to change the border radius. I don't want to change the height or the, well, actually, maybe I do. Let's see what happens if it gets just a little bit bigger. I don't want to change the margin or the text line or any of those things. I don't want to change the font size. I don't want to change the line height. Now I am going to keep the color white, but I'm actually going to change the color on the previous one. So it's almost white, but not quite. So it will get just a little bit brighter when you mouse over it. We will change the background color to something a little bit brighter. And we'll change the border color to something a little bit brighter as well. So it's not super strong, but noticeable. So we'll go ahead and Command S for save. And now if we refresh, there you go. I don't know if I really like the increase in size because it only gets larger, um, well it actually gets larger in every single direction except for up. So it's not quite centered. I'd hope it would grow in all four directions. So I'm going to go ahead and remove both of those. But otherwise, I like it. So there you go. How to create a button, and actually fairly simply, using only CSS. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the video useful. If you did, you can very quickly and easily let me know by just clicking the thumbs up or the like button. If you need any help, let me know and I will see what I can do.